Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Jim Crane, and today we're gonna to take a look at a product from Coronado Leather. This is an unwashed version, or unwa unstonewashed version of their vintage stonewashed mailbag number 130. So if you order this bag, typically it comes already stonewashed. I ordered this bag unwashed, uh, mainly because I wanted to show you what the leather looks like before it goes through the stonewash process. So it's just got that, of course, pristine, beautiful look to it. This is vegetable tanned Horween leather, um, which is a very, very firm, beautiful uh, leather. And it's got a lot of uh, markings, range mark. There's some little bit of marks from the neck of the animal which I absolutely love. I love all of that kind of variations in, in the uh, texture and the coloration of the leather. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Once this goes through the stone washing process, it takes on a very vintage, old world antique look to it. Um, but I wanted to show you what they look like before they go through that process. So let's go through the features. First of all, again, it is Horween vegetable tanned leather. Um, the whole bag is made with this beautiful, thick, um, it's about a 10 ounce Horween leather. Absolutely gorgeous leather. It's one of my favorites and I love this color. Um, it's just beautiful. So the bag is 14 inches wide, it's 11 inches tall, and it's supposed to be four inches deep. The bag is soft, so if you put some, some gear in there, it's gonna poof out a little bit. And um, on the stonewash version, the bag is very, very soft and supple. So um, it will, you'll be able to carry more stuff in it earlier. This one, this bag's gonna need to be broken in over the course of, um, in this condition, probably 20 years before it becomes something even close to the stonewash version. Um, but let's go over the features. It does have an adjustable shoulder strap. This is a longer shoulder strap than, um, the stonewash briefcase that Coronado makes. This um, is, is fully adjustable. So it will go um, out to about 51 inches. Uh, so if you are six feet tall or, or a little bit taller than that, you can cross body this uh, using this sh uh, shoulder strap. There's no pad, but there is this wider piece of leather that um, distributes the weight over your shoulder a little bit uh, better than just the thin uh, leather. This is three quarters of an inch here. But this is in keeping with the, the old Swiss pack saddles of the 1930s, 1940s. And so they wanted to maintain that look. And so they've used those um, design cues from those bags from you know, 80, 90 years ago. And they've kept them in this version of the bag. So it's a mailbag type bag so it's uh this it's suspended from the back of the bag and this is a reinforced piece of leather right here so it can carry a lot of weight they do use these harness clips and um there's one thing you need to be aware of when you're you have a bag that uses these clips first of all these are extremely strong and very durable they will last virtually forever but there is one kind of quirk with these things and because they were used typically for, um, you know, for tack gear, for horses, um, when you put it this on a bag, there is something you have to be aware of. And I think I showed it in a previous video sometime back. And that is you, you don't want to clip them on with the hook going on top like that. You want to hook it on with the hook starting from underneath. And the reason for that is it can come undone. So if you're going to if this bag is sitting on the ground and you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna pick it up by the strap, you can unsnap it um, just because of the, the design of this, this harness hook. So you just need to be aware of that. Don't hook it on over the top like that because that's how it can come off. You wanna hook it from the bottom like that. And then it's a lot harder for that hook to just come undone by itself, okay? So they've got this beautiful contrasting stitching, which uh, really, I think, makes the bag really stand out. It's just beautiful. The hardware, um, they've got the, they use these really heavy duty uh, solid brass rivets. And 
I haven't seen these rivets on any other maker's bag, so I'm not sure where they source them from, but they're just really, really gorgeous. They've got this um, just beautiful, heavy duty feel to them. Uh, I think they're just, I think they're just beautiful. So we've got uh, the grab handle. It's a folded piece of leather that's stitched and it's very thick, but it's very, very comfortable. So the original pack saddles didn't have a grab handle. So it's, this has been engineered for modern use, which makes a lot more sense, but uh, it's very, very comfortable and very substantial and it's, um, and it's riveted onto the bag. And again, this is a reinforced piece back here. So it's uh, like a triple thickness of leather. So that's not gonna pull out on you, okay? It does have the traditional um, uh, straps at the top. Let's get into the bag. Oh, first of all, let me show you the side. It's got that traditional, you know, mail bag look. So it's a um, three piece gusset. So you've got this piece, you've got the piece around the bottom and then the piece on the top. So um, what's cool about it is they use the piping, which is traditional. It's really difficult to, to put that detail on a bag. Um, it does add some expense to the bag, but it gives you a lot of longevity because this is the part of the bag that's going to expand out and contract and expand out and contract. So um, when you put piping in there, it takes the stress off of the stitching that's on this seam. And it also looks really, really cool. I think it looks really beautiful. Double row of stitching here to attach the uh, gusset pieces. Okay, and it's just done in this kind of very rustic look. You know, the Swiss pack saddles weren't made for, um, you know, civilian use. They were made for military use. And that kind of shows in this design. So on the front, Coronado is utilizing these Italian made locking um, uh, clasps here. So they have a cam lock in the back. Okay. Just like the ones that, um, who is it? Thrux Lawrence uses on their, or used on their, um, dispatch brief. So they lock, you probably don't ever need to lock them. Well, you know, you might, I think if you were in an airport or you left this bag in the office and you went out to lunch and someone wanted to get in your bag, they might not be able to figure out that there's a cam lock on the latch and just think the latch is broken for some reason. Um, but um, they're, they are super heavy duty and these little pieces of hardware are really expensive. So they do add some expense to the bag, but man, they are really attractive and they, they are just bomb proof. So we've got two of those. There is the Coronado logo here. When this bag is stonewashed, that's going to kind of fade into the background. Um, unfortunately, I kind of like their logo, 1981. That's when the company was established, made in the USA. Um, and it's very understated and it's in embossed in black. So it's not like it really stands out. Um, but anyway, let's get into the bag. Again, you can see how thick this leather is. Once it goes through that stone washing process, this gets very, very soft and pliable. But when it's in its virgin state like this, it still has that really substantial firm feel to it. The underside of the bag doesn't have the raggedy suede to it. It has got this nice, smooth, smooth finish. Um, and that's just one of the, the extra steps that Horween goes through when they tan their hides. They are they are just a fantastic tannery. Their leather is gorgeous. They make a lot of different versions of their leather hides. Um, and this is one of the, the prettiest, I think. So inside the bag, there are just two pockets. There's this pocket on the back. It is big enough to put a cell phone back there if you wanted. It is uh, serial. So there's a serial number here uh, on each of the bags. Okay. Um, again, this one is not broken in, so the leather still has that kind of stiff feel to it. And you can see that there's no give on the back here because that back panel is reinforced. So very little give back there. There is, of course, a give right here. Um, this is a, this, uh, binding straps. The top binding straps are adjustable. You've got another position right here. Um, if you uh, weren't carrying very much gear and you wanted this really tied up, you could... Um, I think you could stretch it over, but you can see how stiff it is to begin with. Uh, but 
yeah, you can stretch it over to the to the other one. That will really tighten up the bag. Um, it's got these kind of oblong holes, beefy brass stud here with a little pointed part to make it easier to get the strap on. But again, this bag is not broken in, so it's takes a little bit of effort to do that. There's a full size laptop pocket in the front and it's made from the same really thick leather. Um, so they've got the two suede sides um, touching each other on that front pocket. On this side, you've got the beautiful leather uh, um, uh, front surface or top surface of the leather. Um, so you can put quite a bit of gear in there. There are no pen sleeves in there. Unfortunately, there's no key keeper, key ring uh, deal in there. That's because this is designed like the original Swiss pack saddles. That's the whole idea behind it. Very, very nice look, I think. The bag feels really quite substantial. I think when you close these, you want to put the, the swivel the cam around to the back, which I think um, just looks a little bit nicer. Um, beautiful bag. It's got some heft to it. Um, you know, there's a lot of thick leather here, and it's about four or five pounds, maybe a little bit heavier than that. So, um, you know, the weight of a bag when it's empty, it's always subjective because the bag's going to end up weighing whatever, you know, you shove in the bag, whatever you need to carry with you. That's what the bag's going to weigh. And so we start off with five or six pounds. You fill it with all of your gear and you head off to the office or wherever. The bag might weigh 20, 25 pounds, you know, when you get to that point. So um, just something to, to consider. People are always asking, what's the weight of the bag? Um, you know, well, what's the weight of the stuff that you're going to put in the bag? Anyway, a beautiful example from Coronado Leather, the Vintage Stonewash Mail Bag. Um, if you like it like this, that's, you know, it's not washed, you can always ask them when you, when you order the bag, just say, hey, can I get it unwashed? Um, and I'll wash it myself over, over the decades. Um, but, or you can order it the already antiqued, softened, you know, broken in feel. Um, it's probably your choice. They're still available right now. They are unlined on their newer versions um, as well. This bag is not um, is not old. This is a newer bag. So um, if you like that Swiss pack saddle look, it's very utilitarian. Um, it's a, the perfect Goldilocks size. So it's not too you know bulky when you're carrying it over your shoulder or commuting with it. So it's just a wonderful, beautiful bag with these beautiful details like this, which I really appreciate in a bag. It just makes the bag look smarter and uh, look like, um, you know, a master craftsman has built it. So uh, vintage stonewash mail bag number 130 from Coronado Leather. I thank all of you for watching and we'll be back with another review real soon. Bye-bye.